Hello and welcome back to Hot's Find 4 with our campaign in which we are trying to do things. Mostly just, you know, currently we're in the process of conquering the Americas. There's a little bit left to do. To do. Actually, let me check something real fast. We have to, well, Mexico and the United States. That's it. And I just said that's it, but this is proving not to be easy. <laughs> what do we got here? Are they, uh, this is still a destroyer hall? Is that one that's in replacement? Yeah, 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 it is. Okay, so we're good on that one. Let me check. Anything else, really? Like, it's been a week, so usually it's been a little bit of me checking, like, what the hell just happened at all. Alright, so I think a lot of uh, a lot of manual movement is gonna happen soon. I also need to keep an eye on some stuff. We're running out of mechanized, right? I had my modern tanks, I just don't have the mechanized. I did fix that, didn't I? Did I? Can I find the right man? No, I never can. So, right, right, right. Yeah, we added in some more mechanized. Um, Let me just quickly shift this over so it actually gets in its production cycle going. That's gonna be a while before it really gets its going, but uh, why don't you just take this from me real fast? Oakley, Oakley, right? Um, attack this. Support from here. Support from here. Let's see if we can do any damage. This guy's, uh, well, the support's coming in late and from multiple directions, so it's not the greatest fight in the world. Just can't hit it. It's also six guys versus four, so that's not really gonna be that great of a fight. How many troops do you have? A few. But you don't have any manpower. What else do we got here? Mexico. Wait, is that your flag right now? Huh, weird. How many people do you have? Three million. Ooh, you can, you've got a couple. Okay, shifting this up was a bad idea. Okay, we need to take a look at the... Um... It's always that it happens that the AI kind of makes a uh, tiny reset in certain some way. Uh, I need to get the last bits of steel. need to get a little bit of chromium fixed. There we go. Right, so what have we got stationed here? Is there any Austrian troops here? Confederate States of America. Well, that's the tank. Per Peru. The Peruvian troops here. Peru is tiny and has, well, half a million manpower. Holy crap, you got half a million manpower out of just this little... I would say something is wrong. No, wait, it's just one state. 4.6 million people, that's it. I was, what? Okay. Sure, whatever. Not gonna really break myself over this. Um, right, you claim... Where are you stationed? What's your... Exact order. That one, but I think... You're not blue. Achtung. And blue's down here. Angetreten. Wow, your color is surprisingly the same on the map. Let's uh, shift this to a slightly brighter purple. Maybe a little bit pinkish. There we go. Doesn't change much here, but on the map it now really redefines itself as something that I can actually read. Right. Um... Okay, let's see what we can do. We don't want to do too many attacks, but I think it's probably fine. Like everything I can take away from them is just a good deal, basically. Like yeah, I think I like where you guys are at right now. What I would love is okay. What first things first, I want to connect up the front line. Let's start with that. So we're gonna just. Yeah, let's not do that. Hold these guys. Um, and this... Is this port being upgraded? Yes. Okay, good. 
Angetreten. Oh, they did. Oh, Norfolk is this. I thought it would be two provinces here, but it's, it's not, okay? Uh, even the US is suffering attrition here. That's kind of funky. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what the way forward is going to be. Well, definitely this attack, because it's a bunker and everything added on to that one is positive for us. I think you have to do that. So you can actually split off to here. Good. Okay, what I want to do now is I want you to attack here. I want to support it from here. Hopefully this will be enough firepower. Divisions can penetrate. Kind of a shame, but I think it's because they use um, this is the MPs. Yeah, they got AT guns attached. It's a little bit annoying, but it's not something we can really do anything about. Um, at least not in the current state, I think. Because even though we have, I think I upgraded these to the max already. Yeah, they got max armor, so they won't get any better on that one. Right, uh, main gun, engines. Yeah, that will do. Okay, uh, obsolescence, you'll take over. Rapid production. We're not producing too many of them. How many do we have left? But 3,000 of them, it's not the highest number. Okay, um, can you attack here? Yes. Which is currently actually happening. Um, I want you to actually go over here. You assist that one, you assist this one. Uh, can you just keep this attack going? I think the assistants never, uh, they never join into the battle. There we go, we'll just push you from here. Did I? Oh, I could give you orders to actually guys, which is not what I had in mind, but they do take some stuff, which is good. Okay, um, let's clear this out, uh, I won't need one of you to stay behind. Okay, these guys can attack over here. Alright, at least these front lines are now connected up, which uh, also solves a bit of the supply issues. Now I kind of want to take a look at what we actually own here. Right, I need to take Richmond. Uh, if I take Richmond, I get control over the infrastructure in the area, which I think will be in our advantage as well. And keep the attack going. Support it from here. Now, Richmond seems to be really well defended. Now, I have no aerial control in this area, even considering the amount of aircraft I have here. Now, do, do you happen to have... No. You? No, shit. Nobody has engineers. I need somebody with Fortress Buster here. Or... I need to be a little bit smarter. Attack here. Up there. You guys attack here. I don't know how need to attack up here. But it's gonna be... No, 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 don't do it yet. Now, I'm hoping by... Pushing... Um... Yes, our war support is really low due to bombing. Um, it's only at 65, I think, naturally right now. So not a bad idea to just get some war propaganda going uh, once we get the points for it. Uh, okay, so you're in the Central European Alliance. So I think we are good with you. So we're going to stop... Uh, cancel boost in popularity. Turkey, we still need to boost you. And what else do we have? Turkey and China. All right, we can definitely can cancel boosting you. You are a democracy right now. Good. Right. Um, now, I don't, I'm not expecting the Richmond attack to actually be a success for yet. Um, can I get like, all of these guys to just do this? 
It's mountainous territory. Okay, not having success. Immediately stop these attacks. It's just a bit of a waste. Um, it's about a thousand. A little bit too much, if you ask me. We're done here. I don't use signal companies, so I don't care. 600 days. Um, that's not too bad. It's faster than anything else. That's being worked on. Yes, I finally am working on that. Um, that's also a thousand days. We're already working on all of these. We're done here, and this is not going to help me because it's already being overruled by others. And we're done here. So, all things considered, I think the utility helicopters is actually what we're going to go for. Subjects may soon rise to autonomy. Yeah, but they've been able to do that for a while now. Alright, so we're taking this over. Good. Because there are forts around here, and quite a few. And especially attacking mount mountainous forts is a bad idea. The fact that we're having some success is kind of great. Uh, what I'm hoping is that we can actually get a circle going here and, and, and circle the enemy. This thing is not going to help much. Maybe too hard for them to destroy. Oh, a lot of stuff is going in here now. Now, where is this river exactly running? I think this is a river crossing, isn't it? Or does it start there from Richmond? I cannot see due to the front lines. Is there a way for me to get rid of the front lines? Um... Yes, uh, radars, no. Allied battle plans. Can I hide my own? Oh, okay. Um, I believe you can see. Yeah, I can see a river there. Okay. Um, All right. Russians decided All right. that uh, it's time to go into Canada, apparently. If I take Toronto, we might be able to push into this uh, side bit here. Okay. Uh -huh. No, it's not gonna happen, okay. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said before, I'd rather take this... the safe route. No more applications than these, so... You got even better mechanized equipment. These are just proper APCs now. Um, hold this. Okay, I need to check what they have. Okay, nothing interesting on you. Nope. Nope. I've checked you. Okay, let's check you. Nope. Doubt it. Never really liked improv. I, no, I am. I did like improv. Because of the movement terrain, and makeshift bridges is not exactly what it's what I'm used to for. It's the speed, especially for mobile divisions, it's pretty good. This is fine. Guerrilla fighter allows you to entrench faster, which is useful for the defending armies. All right. Um. Now the road, the river should not be a problem considering we can attack, we attack with the... These lads will withstand the damage, but they just don't do any right now. Engineer would be a while. Combat and has come with river crossing. Well, it's gonna be a while before you pick it up. Russia is doing an occasional attack here and there. Go here, go here, assist from here. How many forts are there? One, well, that will be damaged soon enough. Okay, that did not go in my thought of it. does this one? That could serve it. Proven to be a little bit more difficult to take than I anticipated. As long as I don't make river crossings like that, it seems. <sighs> Alright, do the attack again. Gets a couple of tanks to assist it. Really? 
Got modern tanks being held by two infantry dudes. How many defense do you have here? Fucking oh, it's some. This is a mountain tile. Really? Bullshit. No, it isn't. This is that. It's also another way to get rid of that, which is uh, taking all the tiles surrounding it. Right. Why don't you uh, take that radar station? Still gonna be a little bit careful because of the tank divisions lacking mechanized. We've still got 420. It's gonna be a while because we just added in new mechanized units. Um, you can do this attack. It's This is a hill, so I think we can just push in without any too much trouble. Oi, can the two of you just move there for crying out loud? Thank you! We need immediately the Russians pounce, finally, and this guy is dead. Right. Richmond. Um, shitty terrain, not enough air force. We are gaining some control, but it's not going to be enough. A radar station here that should help, but... Right, let's take a look at infrastructure. What are we looking at? Virginia and Carolina. Carolina, I would probably need to take Charlotte here. Uh, oh. Take this. Okay, that's anti-air upgrades. I really need to upgrade my anti-air ship. I always forget that I actually have to research it, and that it's... Useful to do so. I always forget. Alright. Infantry is still taking a bit of a chomping. Alright, so they fail here. It's a good sign. I can just push across the river with these guys. And why don't we uh, put some uh, naval support in there? Or, I mean, guys that actually can do some attacking. So, um, go, go. The more we take, the weaker they get. That's basically my philosophy. Assist from here. All of a sudden, it's a success in the attack. Good. With Charlotte under control, does it give me control over the province? Yes, good. Still want to take Richmond. Like, I think the US um, is currently just building forts everywhere because they can't really build anything else. Which is annoying. Well, there are other ways to solve this problem. Um, you have a pretty brutal front front to fight on. Um, just go there. Can my tanks just go there? Thank you. Instead of assisting an attack, just do your own. What do you got? Uh, right, I still want you to get another... Anything close? Are the Not really. We we'll still want to get an adaptable, because the terrain penalty reduction on tanks is just really good. Just keep going. I think if I tell you and you to go, we can get some minor success for a while. I definitely need to tell you to spread out like this. I think that might be one too many. Just like that. There we go. We're holding here. Uh, the Canadian attack, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Good, we get more base stability. It's not really solving the, the, the more enthusiasm problem we're running at. Our stability is just really low. That's good. It makes it easier for me to capitulate you. I might just only need to take, like, the west coast here because of the low stability. How are they looking on there? They're pretty damn far gone already. And there's a quite a lot of uh, minor victory points to be had. If uh, Plus, yeah, like, majors like Illinois here and Detroit. Right. So I might be lucky. Uh, or get a little bit lucky. Regarding that one. Angetreten. 
my tanks to assist a little bit. At least a little bit. Okay, Pittsburgh is ours, it seems. I'm also hoping if we can push a little bit past this mountain range here, um, the AI will pull back a lot of their troops. And so we can take this sector right here. Um, probably like this bit here. Hopefully the AI will pull back some of its forces. Uh, use that to our advantage. Um, just really don't have the resources to do anything. So... Well, I should also be getting more resources because of the terrain I'm taking. That's good shit, actually. Um, it's the saddest thing ever, the fact that I have to build infrastructure to take over the United States. You expect that this is something that they, you know, would have figured out by now. These mountain attacks on their own soil? Holy shit, they're bad. Look, we win because of over overwhelming firepower. I need half of these to actually do the attack. Because I think... Okay, they're it's still moving, but it's not a good thing. enough. Okay, uh, so this is being taken already. Okay. This is the Cleveland attack. How many victory points is this? Annoying. Just get my own troops in there. Every time the attack fails, my troops seem to build out. Now it's my own guys? Okay, good. Another 10 victory points. Yeah, they're going down fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's bad. Everything. That, yeah. So every time we manage to take something, it is a pretty much a solid hit. Let's take a look at their... Can I have manpower? I just have a feeling that their numbers are going down slowly. I am, however, are gonna need... I want my mountaineers. Um, but I don't trust the Russians to hold this. I am gonna, however, need them. Um, all of them. No, just the mountaineer orders. I need them around Pittsburgh, and I need them all, like, here. Because the, uh, the other one is a river crossing. I actually have a better idea for them. Transfer over here. I will do this without orders. I'll just see if I can take the surrounding area. So we'll do a push here, and I'll do a separate push here. Uh, I think I just deleted these guys, their orders. Um, blue, you can go in here. Um, okay, very little resistance there, so why don't you push up? Why don't you go down here? See if you can make it to this river here. A little bit more from the low end. There we go. Okay, so my mountaineer should be arriving soon-ish. Let's attack from all angles at the same time. Good. Probably mechanized is increasing, even though the tanks are occasionally assisting in the attacks. Good. We're getting close to. Uh, I think I need, need to give you new orders, though, so let's do that. Um, why don't we strike out up to Chicago? Gives purple the same order battle line for them to go. So go and go. And I want uh, like right. a couple of these. No, like five. Get your own separate front line. And you're gonna take the uh, take care of the Detroit area. Go there. You go. I think my tanks can now make pretty much of a big difference. Also, I think it's time to get these guys to start pushing. Where are the mountaineers? Uh, they're on the... F they might be on the front line where I'm not... 
where are you? Jesus. Oh, you're stuck in because you don't want to be sent over there. That's okay, because you should not be on. Um, should just not be on that front line, so they don't really know how else to do it, but just give them a specific thing and then just delete them out of it. Um, first cut them over here. I think I just need them uh, to is, is here in general, but I think I want to surround Richmond first. Okay, as long as these tanks are slowly on the offensive, I think we'll be fine. They're proving to be very valuable right now, at least. Um... Russians are also proving to be very valuable to us right now, which is also kind of great. I have high hopes for you guys, but it doesn't seem to be 100% valid. Yeah, you're not gonna go. You got it. You just don't. Gonna, you're not gonna get into Richmond. Uh, one guy is moving out of there. These guys need to recover. The tanks are doing great work. Nice to take Detroit. Um, just go up north here. Both can circle back like this. Yeah, almost none of their troops can actually hurt us. Unless we, you know, drive into one of the attacks from the Russians. It seems that we just basically win every... Uh, engagement that we do. Alright, um, I have a very annoying front line right now, so get a set, you know, set to the regular front line. This is a pretty much unnecessary, and it's also visually annoying to look at. Attack here, get supported from there. That should be a done deal, because I don't think their modern tank divisions can even... Oh, they c their tank divisions can't even penetrate my tanks. That's a pretty sad state of affair. Um, there we go. Alright, that's like the last that I want them to take. And then we'll be good. They can hold this on their own. It's a defensive position that they will take. But this takes a big chunk out of their mainland. And a big chunk out of their... Uh, everything, really. Um... Okay, I do need... Okay, uh, let's uh, adjust this to be like this. Support that attack field, thank you. Because unnecessary losses are still unnecessary. Alright, you've reached the point that I want you to be at. Yeah, immediately this is starting to collapse. Okay, I need a... Uh, oh, we managed to take Ottawa. Right, um, this can be fixed if I can kind of put the pressure on with you and you. There we go. Right, keep researching those. Um, there's a lot of stuff moving there. Seven guys that have got quite a bit of damage. And if you put the surrounding penalty on them, attacking from multiple directions, they will even worse for wear. That's kind of what the, the attack penalty that I want uh, for them that I want to get on Richmond. I don't have any points. There's only 15 points. So I've ta taken cities that are worth more. But I think we'll be good. Alright, so there we go. Alright. Um, you just lost a very large chunk of your front line, which is pretty much unnecessary. So put you like this. Uh, you are going to get readjusted to here. Scooting a little bit more along the front line. Also freeing up some of my tank divisions like with that. Alright. And this is still a very pitiful place to attack from. So the seven mountaineer divisions, I need to get them over here. Attack from the other side. And then Richmond is a surrounded area, which is in our, I think, greatest advantage. Uh, that will be fixed in soonish. Um, 
Yeah, they're going down fast. Hey, even Blue is actually uh, managing to uh, get some successes. Um, can I get you to start pushing from this angle? Some of these should be just able to just get across the rivers. Yeah. They seem to be... The Americans seem to be in a little bit of a disarray. But, like, what is happening with their troop count? It's, yeah, that's lowering significantly. Um, if I get these rockets anyway... Hmm, none of them have been built yet. We'll have to wait and see how that turns out to be. Right, got some uh, minor successes elsewhere as well. So far, the war is going pretty well again. I had a... last week I felt a little bit of, uh, like, pressure in, in, in the sense of, like, this is not going as... I had hoped. Okay, so guys are retreating away from there. We're gonna wait for these divisions to be gone. Uh, 16 hours and one day. Alright, so this one's gonna be gone in like 10 hours. Go to the attack now. Assist from the other side. Now, these guys won't provide any real strength to the fight to provide me with the attack of almost sure, yeah. uh, benefit and we're just gonna keep up the pressure this is a little bit brutal on the manpower pool uh, right. but i hope with this i can oh, just keep the attack going oh, like just keep it pressure on these guys at some sure. point will wipe out uh, right. uh instigated with oh shit hold nope instigated with these four These, I think the um, Mountaineers were, uh, yeah, were taking priority, which is not what we wanted to see. Richmond is a foresty area. You guys can get in there as well, but it is surrounded. Um, I want you to start pushing in as well. And after that, I have to kind of redraw the front lines. Okay, we've got a... Deployment zone? Why were you, did you, How did you lose your deployment? Nobody will know. Hey, you aircraft. Cool. Um, now I don't need the carrier version of these, so I think I'm just gonna focus your research on this bit. You're part of Rommel's army. I think it's also fucking around with my war support. The fact that they're actively nuking me, apparently. I wasn't aware of that, just that I saw it right now. Like, I don't even, wouldn't even know where these are coming from. They just got a couple of ground missions going on. <sighs> I need a couple of fighters just to take care of this. Uh, just parry bombers, like in here, and... That should fix them bombing me that as active as they do. Right, um, you can barely hit this, so I think it's time for you, for the entire installation to just you know disappear. Because it's annoying anyway. There you go, bam, gone. All right, uh, that should fix the aerial problems we had here. There we go. Got two at. Uh, Two separate teams of aircraft deployed in the area, and they should have the range. Yeah, they do. Okay, good. And there we go. We got some fighters nearby as well. Like, where are they stationing these from? Oh, uh, is it from Holland? Oh, they might be coming from Gotland. Oh, uh, that's just gonna be annoying. Uh, I have nothing nearby to do. Well, whatever. I just, I'm, you know, there's an e there's an easier way of doing this. Just, you know, kill Canada and the United States. Okay, I'm gonna just... I don't know how many of them are here, but it seems to be enough. It looks like Blue is leading that attack. This will be cleaned out at some point. I think it's time for my tanks to just go. Just give them a general order of take whatever you can find and go. 
It's a risky one, as always, but... Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna... Uh, okay, first things first. Okay, this is now a pocket. Good. Richmond will never be taken in all likelihood, but whatever. Right, Rommel, your latest tank division is here. Um, start some war propaganda going. Get it high enough, we'll fix that one. Uh, the moment basically... Um, right out of front line looks a bit like shit. So, uh, reality of the is the moment that this little pocket here is gone. I think we can safely um, I need to seize these guys from I can say more safely uh, redraw the battle lines and walk away from that. Right, you just get into Richmond. Um, get an attack from here on out as well. God, that Richmond bit is annoying. Plus, these are getting resupplied because of reasons. Alright, that's gone. And that's gone. Oh, Richmond is gone. Good. And uh, that's the final troops wiped out. Okay, um, you have no orders. You're... See, that's what I'm talking about. You can redistribute in you. Right. And to do that, we're just going to make a general... No, that's the wrong bit. A little bit too much there, I thank you very much. Um, like this. Probably need to redraw that because I noticed that it's not really working right now. There we go. And, tr you know... Race for the coast. Which division will be there first? Is it the blue? Is it the green? Is it whoever is it? And go. All right. Considering that Rommel is right now is just murderizing people. You know, making large names for himself. Even these guys are pretty great. I think I just need to give them the order to take the why don't we go to Alaska? Yeah. Got some skills going. No, nah, not really. Alright. Uh, what have we finished researching now? Probably one of the aircraft. Yep. Right. CV jet fighters. Jet close air support. It's gonna be the uh, Reniers. And then we've got the improved second generation multi-world fighters which we have a lack of so the fact that we are building them right now um, the better versions is just good in general nice okay i think i can put another 10 in here and here. oh we're taking factories in a rapid pace right now you know what hit the uh Hit whatever. Seems like a good plan. It's the last bit of their production, and then uh, when that's gone. Let's see. I have still the city of New Orleans that I can take over and arrest the thing. I think I've got all. There is not really much in the central area of the United States, so that's a little bit annoying. We'll be fine. So I'm mildly surprised that there is still attrition being experienced. Even though I thought... Wow. There is some bad infrastructure here. I didn't expect that. Let's just uh, move these up and get that built. Factory count is skyrocketing because we're still you know, taking things. I love how my tanks just occasionally meet some infantry and then just drive over them. That's like all they do. Um, do, 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 do. I have some more army experience. Let's max you out. Give you the engine. Give you the last bit of point of reliability. You need 205 points for that. 
which makes him actually slightly more reliable than he was before. Um, which I don't think I need. Because don't these divisions have the... Yeah, which add 20% reliability. So at 80%, you are fully 100% reliable. But there's some, there's some advantage if you are above... Um, I remember correctly for aircraft, being above 100% reliable would basically mean that a kamikaze pilot, which basically is a very difficult uh, reliability check what you do, you can get, basically he crashes into a ship, becomes an ace, then swims back to shore uh, with his airplane and then kind of reassembles it on shore. So, yeah, you know what, let's just take that uh, little bit extra. I don't know how for tanks it will be useful, but hey. If they are 100% reliable, that means that none can be lost due to shoddy things. Which I like. So, version C is the optimal version of our tankies. There we go. Right, let's uh, upgrade these carrier SCVs. Looking, looking good. Looking really good. Okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more tungsten apparently. Korea, thank you. Portuguese Republic, thank you. There we go. All right. Um, just clean this up. You'll go here. Right. And that's that cleaned up. Just found a. Yeah, we found some occasional pockets of uh, resistance, but it's not that impressive. Keep going. Don't stop. Soon we'll be fighting mostly Mexican forces. Right, Houston is 10 points. Uh, how much do we still need? Because we've been taking large chunks of territory. The fact that this push is now working is basically surprising me quite a bit. Uh, I might need to go and do a more... Less if okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, set here. And I'm gonna give an order for you're gonna be regular execution again. Uh, spearhead here, and uh, this should be all t just 12. Okay, that's okay, this, is, this can be done easier. Um, hey, hey. So 24 there, select half, get the spearhead, and go to Los Angeles for the other. Go and just ram through, get the victory points, and end it all there. Wow, tungsten's not being delivered apparently. Ah, we're running into mountains and forts with tanks. That's the point where I would really like you to become a mountaineer or a hill fighter, or neither of them are really in the carts. I think once the tanks get through, they'll be driving straight on and uh, without too much. There's some hills here, there's some... And... Looks like we... If we could... Yeah, the pressure is high enough that the... Uh, they don't really seem to be bothered that much. Blue is also quickly overtaking a lot of stuff, which is great. That's the Imperialist Canada again. These guys are quick and fast. So we can set them up like this. And go into Mexico, baby. They might actually get this done before anything else. I want to get a, like six of them or so. And do take out the conf this bit here. Because I have some nasty experiences of the enemy just to say, like, you know what? We still hold this tiny bit of existence. Um, would you mind if we start being really annoying? And then I would usually say yes. But, you know, it's the end. Some do their own damn thing. Alright, 1955 carrier hull. Cool, 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 cool. I think that's my naval pretty much. Uh, naval bombers. And you know what? You know, we can get some stuff done here. Will I build two more carriers? I haven't looked at my navy in a while. I'm at 44 minutes. I'm actually going to end the episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you in hopefully the next one.